Take-Two just finished up their quarterly investor call. This is where they report to their investors how they've been doing and what they plan to do in the future with their business and their titles. To date, Rockstar has sold 50 million copies of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is just crazy, I think. In relation to the Red Dead Redemption 2 sales, as well as Red Dead Online, this is what Strauss Zelnick, who is the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, had to say. We were also pleased with the performance of Red Dead Redemption 2, which outpaced our expectations, driven by successful holiday promotions and events. To date, the title is sold in more than 50 million units. During the quarter, Rockstar Games continued to release new updates for Red Dead Online, including a new Halloween hardcore telegram mission and new call to arms locations for Halloween and the holidays. So these are technically updates, as I mean they updated the game, it changed from one day to the next, but there was no real substantial new content added. A lot of the stuff that came was just recycled or rejig content, which is a still a testament to the fact that people are still playing this game. He goes on to comment a little bit more on the franchise by saying, Red Dead Redemption 2 also continues to resonate strongly with players Ranking is the number one selling game on Steam for the quarter and number three for 2022. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. Between this quarter and the last quarter, Red Dead Redemption 2 has sold 4 million copies. And of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 comes with Red Dead Online. So why they're not releasing a next gen version which 60 FPS as well as 4K graphics is beyond me. This title is still selling, there's still a demand for it, and people still want to play it. Of course, this isn't Strauss Selnick's decision here. I mean, this is a Rockstar Games decision. It's in their hands. They have complete control over what they do with Red Dead Redemption 2 and online version of it. And unfortunately, all the questions came to investors and really were geared towards the mobile aspect of Take-Two Interactive's portfolio, mainly because their purchase of Zynga Games hasn't been going quite as well as they had anticipated. Take-Two had set a target of 1.41 billion uh, for this quarter, but they were shy of that by 1.38 billion in net bookings. This resulted in Take-Two talking about a 50 million a year cost cutting measure, which is going to be taking place. Mostly people would first think that means employee layoffs uh, because you know employees are pretty costly but in an interview with IGN when Zelik was asked does this mean layoffs he replied that's not the plan but he caveated that while he doesn't expect large scale layoffs some jobs may be lost so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So overall, in terms of Rockstar games of course Grand Theft Auto 5 has been doing as Grand Theft Auto 5 does, it has surpassed 175 million copies by selling roughly another 5 million copies last quarter, which is pretty standard for Grand Theft Auto 5 over the last few years. Zelnik has this to say about it. Grand Theft Auto 5 was ranked number three for units sold in the US during calendar year 2022 on all platforms and was number two overall for 2022 on Steam. Additionally, 2022 was GTA 5's 10th consecutive year in the NPD Top 5 for unit sales. Red Dead Redemption 2 also continues to resonate strongly with players, ranking as the number one selling game on Steam for the quarter and number three for 2022. I did leave that soundbite run a little bit longer just to include Red Dead Redemption 2 again as you know it's amazing that game isn't getting you know, the resources that it needs to push the online version. I really wish they had gone more into detail about that and maybe some plans about what they could do to capitalize on that. I really want to hear them saying that they're planning a next gen for this but it is Rockstar Games and to be honest they have been just dropping the ball a lot the last few years so who knows what they are planning. Unfortunately, that's pretty much all that we really got information wise from this investor call. Hopefully we'll hear a bit more during the summer for the next one. But that's about it. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this channel. Really do appreciate it. Catch you again, people.